Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss chapter 3 Animals, their food and their habitat. And in this chapter we are going to learn about what do animals eat? How do we classify animals according to what they eat? What is a habitat? And what are the different types of habitats? Now before we get into the lesson, here is some warm up for you. Jane got a puppy for her birthday. The puppy tries to eat whatever Jane is eating. Jane's mother tells her that a puppy eats different food. Do you know what food does a puppy eat? Like any other living being, animals also require food to live. Different animals have different requirements for food. We can classify animals into three groups according to what they eat. Herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores are those animals that eat only plants and plant material. They eat grass, leaves, fruits, etc. Elephants, cows, deer, goats, etc. are herbivores. The teeth of a herbivore can bite and chew grass and leaves. Squirrels, rabbits have razor sharp front teeth to crack open nuts and fruits. Birds like parrots use their beaks to break open nuts. Carnivores are those animals that eat other animals as food. Lions, tigers, cats, owls, etc. are carnivores. They have sharp canine teeth to tear the flesh. They have claws on the paws to hold their prey. There are some animals that eat both animals and plants. These animals are called omnivores. Humans, Dogs, pigs, bears, etc. are omnivores. So here is a science tidbit for you. Panda is very particular about its food. It only eats the leaves, stem and shoot of the bamboo tree. They belong to the bear family and should be omnivores. But they depend on the bamboo tree for food. So they are herbivores. Apart from these three categories, we see some animals with different food habits. Scavengers are animals that feed on the flesh of decaying animals and plants. Vultures are the only complete scavengers. They feed only on dead and decaying animals. Animals like crows, sharks or bears scavenge only if necessary. Scavenging is done by insects like termites, beetles, etc. All the mentioned animals must eat and digest their food. But some animals don't have to digest their food at all. These animals are called parasites. Lice, plural of louse, that live on the human head or fleas and ticks on your pets are parasites. They live by sucking blood of living creatures. Worms like tapeworm which enter our intestines come under parasites. So here is a science top up for you. Cows and goats always seem to be chewing food. They are called ruminants. Their stomach has four parts. They first store the food eaten in one part. Then cows and goats bring back the food from their stomach to their mouth and chew the food properly. Cattle, goats, sheep, giraffe, deer, etc. are ruminants. You have now learned about what an animal eats to live. Now, let us learn about where an animal can find the food it needs. An animal lives in an area where it can find the food and water it needs. This area where the animal lives to find food, water and shelter is called its natural habitat. So here is a chance for you to explore. Look at the animals around you. Find out what they eat to know whether they are herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. Discuss your findings in the class. So let's think. You may be wondering what is the difference between a home and a habitat. A home is a place we live in because it gives us shelter. For example, a nest is a bird's home. Only the bird and its family can live in the nest. The nest keeps it safe. However, for food and water, the bird has to go out of its nest. The entire area 
where the bird flies in search of food and water is its habitat. So habitat is not just a place where we rest but also where we get other necessities too. Similarly, the forest is a habitat of the deer as they graze all over the forest. Now ask yourself, what is your habitat? To know, answer these questions. Where is your home? And where do you get your food and water from? Discuss your answers in class. Rainforests. Nearly half of the animals and plants live and grow in the rainforests. These forests are always warm and humid. Chimpanzees, anacondas, tigers, deer, etc. live in rainforests. Temperate forests have changing seasons. They are home to animals that can live in different climates. Brown bears, squirrels, monkeys, lizards, deer, leopards and tigers live in temperate forests. Grasslands. Grass and trees grow in these areas. These areas have a period of dry weather for some months and then a season with heavy rainfall. Grasslands are home to antelopes, giraffes, elephants, hyenas and lions. Deserts. These areas are very hot with very less water. Animals should be living here with consuming very less water. Camels, gazelles, kangaroos, foxes, etc. live in deserts. Now, did you know the Amazon rainforest is the largest forest in the world? It is also the richest forest in the world in terms of the number of different species found in it. Arctic or polar regions. The areas near the poles are very cold. Therefore, very few animals live there. Polar bears, penguins, walruses, humpback whales, etc. live there. Oceans and salt water bodies. Now, we know that water covers most of the earth. Many animals live in salt water like seas and oceans. Sharks, whales, dolphins, lobsters, crabs, fishes, etc live in oceans and seas. Freshwater bodies like rivers, lakes, swamps, etc. are also habitats of animals. Snails, turtles, frogs, snakes, beavers, otters, etc. live in freshwater. Now here are some word meanings for you from the lesson. Canine teeth The sharp, long and pointed teeth of carnivorous animals. Claws, the sharp and curved nails of animals. Prey, an animal that is hunted and killed for food by another animal. So here is a mind map of the lesson for you. Animals on the basis of their food habits can be divided into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. An area where an animal lives for food, water and shelter is called a habitat. A habitat can be divided into a forest, which can be a rainforest and a temperate forest. Deserts, grassland, polar regions and water bodies like oceans and seas and freshwater bodies like pond, river and swamps.